Hi everyone, this is Lutz and today I'm going to show you how to install Pi Camera 2 to your Raspberry Pi. And that one will be necessary if you're using your Raspberry Pi with the Bullseye software because the old Raspberry Pi or the old Pi Camera 1 or without a number is not able to run on your Bullseye system anymore. So if you want to know how to fix this and how to install the new software just follow my instructions and it will work probably for you. Right now the Pi Camera 2 is only in alpha state software available so this is meaning that you don't have a full stable version of it and that there could be some issues with the software but for me it's working right now quite well so that's the reason why I'm doing this video. If it's going into a release version I will probably make a new video so if you have any issues with the software or with my video I would be glad if you write a comment so that it will run probably in the next version. I will give you the link for the github repository within the comments so um, you can follow just my instruction using the links. Important is now that you use a new SD card or not a new SD card but a new image because it seems that there is a bug by using an old or a longer used bullseye image. So I don't know why it's not fixed right now but uh, to be sure that it's working just use a new one. So if you don't know how it works or you feel uncomfortable by the bullseye update just follow that one. It's just the explanation how to set up a new image to your Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do first is uh, that we copy those comments for the installation to your Raspberry. I'm using it on remote on the SSH. It's For me it's simpler but you can do it also in the console with a remote desktop or just directly on your Raspberry how you like it. So we just copy the installation pass and this first thing should be really quick. Important is now that you also did your update before so that you do your sudo up update and your sudo up upgrade. And when that one is finished we just copy the next line and just give it to our Raspberry. So the next is a NumPy upgrade we are using with pip. And the next thing is that we install the Pi Camera 2, also using the PIP. So, and after we've installed this, I would like to install the OpenCV and the OpenCV data as well. So just put it here. This could now take a while. So I will be back when it's finished. So when it's done I also would like to install TensorFlow Lite. And so and now we installed all the packages so I'm using a Pi 3 for that video here, so we have to make some small changes inside of the configuration that we are able to run these previous windows. So we go inside of the configuration, go for advanced options and then we activate the Glamour and we say yes and afterwards we need to restart the Raspberry and then I will start with a remote desktop because the rest in Python I will like to show also with the preview window so that's quite easier if we do it on a complete remote desktop. So now we are back during the reboot I recognized that I forgot to clone the repository of git so we can just do this uh, by typing in git clone and then the link of the repository. We don't have to do this but it's quite useful because there are a lot of examples which we're running and that makes life much easier. 
So next thing we're gonna do is that we wanna check if all the installation we did was working well. And the way I just wanna do this is by running a small Python program code. And for this, I like to use a Tony for sure. You can use whatever you like, but I like that one a lot because it's quite simple. Uh, we just paste here the small program code and then we say run. I'm gonna check if it's working and then we get asked for where to save it and uh, I already have some additional test files so I want to replace it and then we say oh, we already set run and then you get those messages here and for me at the first time it was really confusing and I was thinking what's going on why is it not working it is working it's just yeah some kind of notification that it's not in the mode that we'd expect. Maybe this is coming from a camera because I use a, um, yeah, not the Raspberry Pi camera, so maybe it has some issues here, but it's quite working well, so that's it. What we can do now is that we have a small dive into the examples which come with the software. So um, I would also recommend this to you because it's, it's much easier. So we clone that we clone the repository to the Pi camera too, and here's the file, uh, the folder example, and here are a great number of examples. So what I like as example is the face recognition. It's somewhere. Where is it? Ah. It's written like this, OpenCV. So the easiest way is that you just import it and then you can check what is coming up here. And there's a small script for face detection. So now the preview window will start in your device. This will take some seconds because it's not on my device. It's not that fast because I'm running on a Raspberry 3. And now you see here this previous window and if you go now to a face, you will see that it's uh, running its recognition and it's figuring out that there's a face. So that's quite nice and it's working directly without anything else to do. So that's nice and easy. And yeah, there are a lot of different examples you can run through. I think you can do this by your own. You can just have a look what you're searching for and here's the which number of things you can do. So I hope that video helps you by doing your projects you want to do. If you have any questions, please write it down in the comments. And if you like the video, here's one of my playlists for Raspberry Pi. If you want to learn something more, feel free to watch my videos and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.